multiplying decimals. When multiplying decimals, instead of lining up the decimal point, we line up the last digits on the right. So if we were multiplying 4 and 23 hundredths times 9 and 75 thousandths, we'd want to line up our last digits. So 3 is the last digit in 4 and 23 hundredths, and 5 is the last digit in 9 and 75 thousandths. There's my 7, my 0, my decimal, and 9. Now we multiply just like we multiply whole numbers. So starting with 5, 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Carry the 1. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21. And then I'll get rid of these for our next number. Now that we're multiplying times the 7, we need a 0 placeholder. 7 times 3 is 21. Write your 1, carry your 2. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16. Write your 6, carry your 1. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 1 is 29. Get rid of those. Then we need two zeros for placeholders. And when we multiply times zero, zero times three is zero, zero times two is zero, and zero times four is zero, we just get a line of zeros. So moving on to our last digit, now we need three zero placeholders before we multiply times nine. Nine times three is 27. Write the 7, carry the 2. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Write the 0, carry the 2. 9 times 4 is 36, plus 2 is 38. Then just like we would with any other whole numbers, we're going to add our results together. 5 plus all these zeros gives us 5. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 6 is 7. 2 plus 9 is 11. Plus 7 is 18. Write our 8. Carry our 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. And then we have 8 and our 3. To determine where the decimal point goes when you've multiplied your decimals together, we're going to take how many places, how many numbers there were behind our decimal in our first number and how many numbers there were behind our decimal in our second number and add those together. So since we had two numbers behind the decimal here and three numbers behind the decimal here, then our result will have five numbers behind the decimal. 2 plus 3 is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the result of multiplying my two decimals together. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.